what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well out there. I know this is a really hard time, super weird. Um, I have really good days and I have really bad days, but I'm having a good day today, so I wanted to make a video for you guys and do something productive. So I thought something fun and productive to do today would be to clean out my closet. I try to clean out my closet like pretty regularly. Um, at least every couple months I go through it, try to get rid of things I'm not wearing, but I'm really bad at it. I think like a lot of people out there, I attach so much sentimental value to my clothes. So thanks so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already to my channel. I've got lots of videos coming out right now because I have nothing but time. And if you enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Without further ado, let's organize. One thing I definitely won't be getting rid of is my Teddy Blake bag that I received last fall when I did a partnership with Teddy Blake. I've loved this bag so much. It is held up so well. It has a huge capacity. You can fit like a small iPad or laptop or cat or whatever you want to fit in it. Violet climbed in it earlier and it was so cute. The reason why I wanted to bring it up now is because they're actually doing a partnership with the UN Foundation for COVID-19. So every purchase on their site, they're donating $15 to the World Health Organization through the UN Foundation, which I just think is really cool because we're all hurting in this time. A lot of us have lost our jobs. It's really important that the ones who can afford to contribute do. I just wanted to share how much it is held up and retained its shape and its color and everything after using it for several months. If you've been looking to add a new amazing handbag that is ethically made to your collection, definitely check out Teddy Blake. You'll be treating yourself to something awesome and you know that a portion of the proceeds are going to support the World Health Organization and this crisis. So totally a win-win. So definitely go check them out. The link is in my description box down below. So how my closet is organized is we have all of my summer stuff is over here. I kind of organize my closet by season, not necessarily by color. I do a little color grouping, but it's mostly by season. Over here, I have like tank tops and tube tops and like things for summery summer, a lot of like snappy, flappy, strappy tank tops and whatever. And right here, we've got our medium range, some crop tops, uh, shorter sleeves, but still short sleeve. And then in here, I have this random section of all of my button downs, which is what I would wear to work before I was let go. Over here, we have long sleeves turning into sweaters and turtlenecks. I have a few over shirts, and then we have a couple hoodies and sweaters, and then it kind of just fades away into deep dark winter over there in the corner. So my philosophy on clothes is that if something you have does not make you feel 100%, a 1000% fabulous, you shouldn't own it. If you put it on the dressing room and you're like, mm, it's okay, but like, mm, it's better than other stuff, like not worth keeping. So I'm gonna try and go through my closet right now and only keep things that I have worn in the last couple months or things that make me feel a million percent fabulous or even better, both. I'm gonna try to not, you know, get down to all the emotional things of it and just get rid of stuff. See, here's an example. Things like this. This is like a super crappy little tie top that I wore to Coachella last year. And I keep thinking like, oh, what if I go to a beach themed, Coachella themed, music festival, party themed, whatever. And the real reality is, is that something like this, I'm gonna wear once. I would never wear this out and about like to the grocery store. And if I go to another music festival, I'm gonna buy new clothes anyway. So let's get rid of it. These are all undershirts, so I keep these all on one hanger, um, just because I don't have the space to just do everything on separate hangers, so it's a really good way to conserve space. Um, you just kind of like all f hang them on the same little hooky things, so, and these also have grippy on the top, so I love these hangers, but yeah, this has got now a pink, white, nude, black, and gray undershirt um, all in one hanger. I kept this for a really long time, this peplum top. It's a really cute top, but I haven't worn it in a year, and if I haven't worn it in a year, I'm not gonna wear it in another year. This one I've had since college. It's from Forever 21. It's like a black and white checkered crop top thing. I mean, I love the fabric. Like I love the knitted texture of it, but like I don't wear a lot of graphic prints in black and white. Like I just feel like I don't wear this. I like wearing like blues and yellows and stuff. So I'm just, 
I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna get rid of stuff. I, I have to be diligent here. This is like something I wore to Coachella. Again, it's really sexy and it's really cute, but, and I dropped it. I don't know, pieces like this just take up space in your closet. Like, when am I gonna wear this again? I don't know. Um, okay, I'm putting this in a maybe pile, um, and I'll see what else I can get rid of, whether or not I can keep it or not, based on how many other things I get rid of. So that's gonna go over there. You know what, this one I can probably get rid of, because this one's like got like a little floaty top, which the little like ruffle top things are not very flattering on people with large chests. It just makes you look bulkier, so gonna get rid of that one. Both of these, I got this recently. This is from Zara. That one I've had recently, that's from Abercrombie. Um, both of those are in my relevant current color palette and I like them a lot, so both yeses. I wore this on my 21st birthday trip to Vegas, so I can probably go ahead and get rid of this. I think I actually am gonna try and sell this one. I think I got this at Urban. This is actually a really cute top, but it's too big on me. It doesn't like fit tight to my waist, so probably gonna try and sell that one. Okay, look, look at all this space. Look at this space, this is new. Now this one, I have been fighting saying goodbye to this one for a long time. So this is that white stretchy Brandy Melville shirt that so many people have, uh, but I've had this one for almost like eight years and it shows signs of wear. It's really ratty, honestly, like just, yeah, it needs to go. This shirt, once cute, now is stretched out. Um, okay, let it go. Ah! Do you wanna come in, kitty? You wanna come in? Come on in. Hi, can you hear her? What's up? Come on in. I know. Come in or go out. Make a choice. Whichever you want. Do you want to stay in? Okay, I'll just leave the door cracked. You can do whichever you want. This is a dark charcoal gray t-shirt. I honestly don't wear this color. I like light gray, not so much dark gray, so get rid of that one. This Madewell shirt is so soft and comfy, but it does have a couple holes in it. So, and I feel like holes are not cute, so I feel like I gotta retire it. Definitely keep this one. This one is like the, my style in a shirt. So let's see, I'll put this one in here with this. All right, this is what I can get rid of. I fought back and forth on this one, um, and it's a super cute shirt. It's from Madewell, but I don't think it really fits my style anymore. Guys, look, oh, hey kitty. These are all my things I'm getting rid of for sure. And then the bed has a few maybes right now, but this is still so much progress. I've kind of reintroduced color coding to my summer stuff. Um, I have at least groupings. I have like cropped strappy tops in black and gray colors to yellows, to pinks and neutrals. Um, and then I have in my t-shirt type crop tops, I have my pinks, my blues, my whites, whites with patterns and my yellows and then I have my bold colors and blacks and now we're about halfway through that is all done and it looks so much better way more cohesive way more of a capsule war wardrobe and over here we still have all the winter stuff I haven't gone through and then we have all of my work clothes so gotta go through that next but making massive progress now I'm looking at my work clothes from my old serving job I've got like Button downs, button downs, button downs. Maybe I should find another place to keep them. I certainly don't need them to be forefront in my closet. I think I'm just gonna rearrange for right now and I'm gonna push all of this over this way. Oh, wow. Oh dear. All right, so my camera battery died, so I had to go charge it, but in that time, I added a few more things to the pile that I knew I didn't wear anymore. Um, considering I clean out my closet often, I'm actually very impressed with myself for getting all this stuff out of here. Uh, this sweater, it has just gotten really pilly, and it has a hood, and I don't know, I feel like hooded sweaters are very, that aren't hoodies are very kind of like, 
I don't know, not the thing anymore, so getting rid of that. Um, this sweater I got as a hand-me-down from a friend, and it's just too big for me, I don't wear it. Um, this shirt is actually super cute, but the problem with this shirt is that it's an off-the-shoulder long sleeve and it slides up off my shoulders and I just have to adjust it throughout the day. And clothes that you just have to adjust over and over, just not worth wearing because you get annoyed at them and if they're not comfortable, you end up just not wearing them. While my camera battery is charging, I went through and I organized like pieces with like pieces within my winter section over here. So I put cardigan types together. Um, you know, like button type cardigan sweaters. I only have a few of those, um, but I got some in gray, black, and pink, and one in blue, and I put all of my turtlenecks together. So my few turtlenecks, and again, I don't have a ton of each of these things. I have like a gray, a blue, a couple pink, and some black, and I wear these several that I have all the time. I have my few like overshirt types. I have Two types of denim. I think it's okay to keep both of these because one's like a light denim and one's a dark denim. And then I have my pink one and my patterned one. And then over here, I've got a few sweaters. Over here, I have my over the head sweaters. Red, a blue and white, white, gray, a pink, dark gray. Um, that's kind of like the main color theme of everything. I was looking at everything in my closet and I was noticing that everything is either white, gray, pink, blue, red or yellow. I don't think there's anything that isn't one of those colors. Um, as I'm looking at everything, there's no orange, there's no green, and there's no purple, there's almost no navy, um, just a few pieces. Never really noticed that until now. And I mean, I guess it makes sense that everyone has their favorites, but it's kind of crazy that I literally picked like six colors and I don't ever deviate from it. Are you guys like that too? In your wardrobes at home, do you have every color of clothes or do you just have a few colors? I don't know, maybe I'm weird or maybe that's really normal. Let me know, because I'm not sure. I am getting rid of this flannel over here um, just because it is a smaller flannel, like it's more meant to be fitted and I don't really like fitted flannels on myself personally. And I think the color palette is not really what I currently wear, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one, the ceremonial throw. And I've also uh, pulled these out. These are things I've decided to get rid of. Um, this is a shirt that I love the idea of it. It's like a white or a pink and white um, button down shirt like for work, but I don't have a corporate professional type job right now. And I just have kept this for years with the hope I'm gonna wear it and I haven't. So goodbye. And then the other thing I'm gonna get rid of is this gray cropped hoodie. Um, again, I prefer lighter gray to dark gray, um, and I have a couple other cropped hoodies that I wear more, so I'm just gonna, again, doing what I'm doing, I'm on a roll. This shirt I've had forever, it's light pink, um, it's kind of, it's got these little bows on the back, um, it's like a half sweater thing, but summer is coming, and I, I've had this since high school, I've honestly had this since high school, so I think it's time to, we'll move that on. Gym Shark workout top. That should be with my workout clothes. I'm gonna fold that up and put that away. We have two black long sleeve shirts. Um, one is newer, one is older, so I'm gonna retire the older one. My mom got me this shirt when I was in college. Um, I love how like peasanty it is. I, it's just not like anything I have. I haven't worn it in probably six months. Oh, it's kind of fraying on here. It needs some mending. Oh dear. Well, I'm gonna keep it for now. This pink polo shirt, I've kept it forever just because I wanted to have a polo for like, I don't know, a commercial audition or something. Am I gonna regret getting rid of that? No, I feel like I have so much more. I'm, I'm getting rid of it. I'm doing it. Wow, I have so many extra hangers. I'm gonna show you guys my bed. Ow, that was my toe. Look at my bed, you guys. This is insane. There are so many hangers here and so many clothes. I I thought I was gonna struggle to get rid of anything, but this is like so much stuff. And I haven't even looked at my dresses yet or any of my pants or anything. So, holy cow. So this drawer right here, this is all the short and pants that I have. The left side is pants, the right side is shorts, and that's all I have. So that's pretty minimal in my opinion. It's like eight pairs of pants and six pairs of shorts, which I think is pretty good. So next we have all of my sentimental t-shirts. 
I did go through these recently and the problem with my t-shirts is they're, they're all from like memories. Like this is from a vacation I went on. That's from Chapman. Um, that's from when I taught summer camp. I don't know. I don't really feel like I can get rid of any of these at this point, but I'm not really adding to the collection right now. So, and they're all perfectly folded. So we're just gonna ignore that one. So in this corner, I keep my sports bras. Um, I keep some long sleeve workout tops. These are all shorts right here and workout shorts. These are all my leggings. Those are all there. And then these are all my workout tops right here. So again, it's pretty minimal. It all fits into one drawer. So one drawer for workout, one drawer for pants and shorts, and one drawer for t-shirts and sentimental concert shirts and band tees and whatever. So that's not so bad. And then my shoes right here, really don't have that many. So this is how I keep my V-neck t-shirts organized in my dresser drawer. Um, I just have these little inside drawer organizers from Ikea, which is super helpful because that way when you open your drawer, you'll notice that the socks have a place, these have a place, and this is a place and this has a place and it's not just like a big jumble of things and it allows you to act as if you have a bunch of small drawers. So, um, but looking at this, I noticed it's the exact same color palette of white, white, gray, black, blue, pink, and yellow. Um, no red t-shirts, but it's still, it's about the same. But um, if you fold those and keep like the front, the top part of the shirt showing, then you know exactly what you have in here. So everything looks pretty good in there. My camera battery is dying again, um, and I don't have a second camera battery. I really need to get one, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I didn't get a chance to get to my skirts and my dresses, uh, but I'll have to do that in a part two video. And there really aren't that many. I think I maybe have like 20 dresses. Maybe that's a lot. I don't know. My perspective is really weird because I just have a lot of clothes. Um, but look at the progress that we did make. Look at all those hangers. If you can't tell by the clothes underneath me, look at all these hangers because that is evidence that we got rid of a lot of stuff. So during this time when a lot of us are at home and have a lot of extra time on our hands, we're not hanging out with our friends, we're not going out to eat, we're not doing any of that, um, I definitely encourage you to like go through your closet and get rid of stuff and you know, if you have some nice stuff to sell, try and sell it or you know, give it to Goodwill and donate it to people in need. Um, and it'll make you feel really good to get a lot of that stuff out of the way. I personally feel great because now I've like lightened my closet. It'll be so much easier to find the things that I like and I guarantee I'm not gonna miss any of these things. Thanks so much for watching this video and for watching my channel. If you're not subscribed, please click that subscribe button and click that little gray bell so you get all my notifications when I make a new video. And check out my social media if you haven't already. Sierra Michelle Green on Instagram, Sierra M. Green on Twitter, all of it is linked below. And I will see you guys next time on Sunday with a brand new video. So hang in there guys, stay positive, and I'll see you soon. Bye!